and Bitcoin spot exchange traded funds are currently in the limelight as the products have seen massive net inflows in the past few days than in the initial weeks of the introduction dominating the market of crypto investment products. Uh, Thomas Farr, uh, the co-founder of Bitcoin tracking platform Apollo, uh, took to the social media platform X, formerly Twitter, uh, to share the development with the community. Uh, Farr pointed out that the BTC spot ETFs um, are presently experiencing a total acceleration of inflows. Um, and, and they're $10.35 when currently I quit, Dr. to Steve Dow, many of their strategies, the right results, are the deadly adjusted documents and maker with $35 to be a set up to 150 point VD products from crypto players and investors. Uh, data from Apollo reveals that Grayscale is the leading firm in assets under management. Registered as Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, the company boasts a whopping $23.7 billion AUM. However, this is a notable drop from $28 billion in assets it had on January 11th after transitioning to an ETF. This is due to the daily net outflows that the fund has seen. Since it was approved by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, and BlackRock comes in second after Grayscale with an asset under management of over $5 billion since it started trading. It is followed by Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust and ARC21 shares. And Bitcoin Trust, which come in third and fourth place, respectively. Their investment firm, Bitwise's Bitcoin ETF, is the latest company to reach the billion dollar milestone. As of the press, the company's BTC ETF is the fifth largest behind the aforementioned asset management companies. On Tuesday, BlackRock recorded its largest inflow day ever since Bitcoin ET products were approved. A senior Bloomberg intelligence analyst, Eric Balchunas, revealed information regarding the update on X. Uh, he stated that BlackRock's BTC ETF was booming on Tuesday, seeing almost half a billion inflow. According to the data shared by Balchunas, IBIT made $493 million in revenue uh, during the trading day. IBT's previous largest daily net inflow was $386 million recorded on the second trading day of January 12. Consequently, BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF overall inflow exceeded the $5 billion market after the Tuesday event. So far, of all ETFs, BlackRock's IBIT leads by 7% by size in just 23 days of trading. Uh, these developments came in light of the recent rally around Bitcoin in the past few days, which took BTC's price above $50,000. Many market enthusiasts believe that a major factor in the rally is the reason surrounding the BTC ETF flows. 